The Digitax HD terminal and enclosure design enables the DC bus, ground connection, 24 volt supply and communication ports of a number of drives to be connected together using pre-made bus bars and links to significantly reduce installation time and cost. Suitable bus bars and links for multi-axis paralleling are included in the multi-axis kits available as part of the Digitax HD installation and system accessories. Two multi-axis kits are available. Firstly for drives with no option module support kit fitted and secondly for drives with option module support kits fitted. The installation method for either kit is the same. Undo the torque slotted screw on the DC terminal cover, having isolated the drive from any power source. Then check the DC bus terminal voltage is at a safe working potential. Attach the ground and DC terminal bus bars between the inverters with a T20 Torx driver and loosely fit all six M4 screws supplied with the kit. After fitting all screws, tighten to a torque of 2 Newton meters or 17.7 pound inches. Multi-axis kit buzz bars have a 60 amp rating. Close the DC terminal covers. Note, breakout tabs do not need to be removed when connecting buzz bars from the Digitax HD multi-axis kits. Tighten the DC terminal covers with a torque of one newton meter or 8.9 pound inches. Connect the communication link between the inverters. Connect the 24 volt supply link between the inverters. A maximum of 10 inverters can be connected together using the 24 volt links. The example shown is the standard multi-axis kit where no option module support is fitted between the two inverters. Alternatively, the multi-axis kit for drives with option module support plastics fitted between the inverters includes longer buzz bars and a longer 24 volt link. The installation methods for both kits are identical. Undo the torque slotted screws on the three DC terminal covers, having once again isolated the drive from any power source, and check the DC bus terminal voltage is at a safe working potential. Attach the longer ground and DC terminal bus bars between the inverters, and again loosely fit all six M4 screws supplied with each kit with a T20 Torx driver. After fitting all screws, tighten to a torque of two Newton meters or 17.7 pounds inches. Close the DC terminal covers. Note once again, breakout tabs do not need to be removed when connecting buzz bars from the multi-axis kits. Tighten DC terminal covers with a torque of one Newton meter or 8.9 pound inches. Connect the communication link and the longer 24 volt supply link between the two inverters.